Hi viewers, welcome to these tutorials. I'm going to take you through on how to do the signing in and signing out using Google Sheets automatically by just scanning using your phone. Remember this is a corona era where we all of here get in contact with, with each other or touching each other's pens and all those things that uh, can lead to transmission of corona. But by this system, you, your work is only to have an app that you can download from Play Store that is free there called scan to web And then uh, I'll be showing you in another episode how to do the coding so that you can configure and connect the scan to web into a sheet such that when you scan uh, your code it is reflected the time you entered in and the time you, end, you went out of school or an entire institution or even a meeting. You can see in my packets that I've made here I'll be showing you also in another tutorial how to make these packets. The packets I've made here like this one uh, is Mwalimogeke check in, checked in, Mwalimogeke checked in. Then we also have uh, the other side here, Mwalimogeke checked out. Mwalimogeke, that is Dennis Charles checked in, that is a code, and so many other, you can all have up to so many, up to even a thousand workers. Like mine, I'll complete up to 40 workers by the end of the, by the end of it all and make it a system that will be used. It's already working, and you are going to see that. That is if, um, for instance, I want to scan this code, that is to sign in each and every day. If the, it is today is on 9th, it, it will be talking of 9th and even the time. Tomorrow is on 10th, it will be talking of 10th and the time. So uh, if you open your scanner, I've used, uh, I'm using TeamViewer to connect my phone with the screen so that I'm able to show you. So this is my screen here. Let me position it to this point so that I do the scanning in first of all, then I go to the scanning out. So uh, this is the scan to web app that I'm using. It is free. So if I click scan to web, but now the programming is now the thing that is not free. Now, if I click on, um, uh, I continue to check permissions, then I click on start. And then um, uh, this is a, a typing error that I made, but I will change it later. This is scan in and this is scan out. So um, if I click on scan in, the first one, you click on scan in now it asks you for a par code what you do is that uh, you place your cursor there you ensure the cursor is at that point and then you will click on this button that is you point on uh, this first one you point it's good that you scroll you'll be scrolling okay when it is that way it is okay then you click on that you take the first one it has scanned the first one so it has checked in that first one if i repeat the, to scan again second time the first one it will not allow because uh, it's a duplicate so i've ensured that um, it does not allow duplicate so if i click submit another response i point there then i click that you see it is talking about this value is a duplicate scan Marimogeke checked in. Then you can stop if you realize that you've already scanned in. Or you, you know, you will, but anyway, you, you stop. So I can uh, now stop. Then I can uh, do another response now for a, this, uh, the second person. Let me do for a second person. Uh, this second person. So if I, I go there, and it's good that. Uh, uh, it, uh, okay, what, what I was supposed to do is that uh, you scroll upwards so that you remain, with the you remain with the one that you are focusing at the top. Even if you are focusing at the, the last one, it must be at the top here. So you remain with the one you are focusing at the top, like this one, then you, you scan. Now if I scan it, it is taken. 
it is now taken so that is uh, scanning in you do for scanning out um, remember this is the only sheet that uh, you will be making available for all teachers and uh, maybe in the staff room or whichever place all other sheets you will ensure that they are uh, password protected so that nobody can access them to delete the data so if you have with that uh, now let me work on um, then you use this uh, this up arrow if you click on it it will take you back and then you you click the second one so that you you are able now to scan out let me scan out the first person if i scan out the first person here it uh, scanned out that person then uh, i do for the second person uh, it's good that i scroll that way then i submit another response you can see here uh, on the screen there then uh, you point there it has taken him so you see all the responses have been registered then after doing that let me now um, leave the uh, this up let me leave this up let me leave it uh, i want to leave it so that uh, i explain further then you can um, you can be able to go and now check this 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 you will be it shall have been saved and uh, password protected so you can see yeah, this is um, uh, Charles uh, Marmogeke checked in at this time on 9th, 9th, 22, 13, 32 hours and on 9th this, uh, at this time uh, that is uh, checked also in. Then we also can see the checked out. This is, uh, uh, he checked out at this time and this checked out at this time. So you can see it takes the time, the exact time and the date. So oh, for all the dead, it will register for all the people. So that is how you do the check-in, check-out using this system. You realize that um, it is a very nice system. That it, because at the end of it, you shall print this uh, uh, make a summary that will be connecting, will be showing the same person, the time in and the time out. So um, a summary here, you can easily make a summary by connecting the two sheets. So that is it it's a nice system and if you really like this and you may want to have it in your school you can reach me on 0724 595 so that you can uh, have it configured in your school and use it it is saved it is saved because it will be saved on your google play store with only you having the password Thank you for listening. If you really like this, subscribe and share to have more updates. Thank you.